Are you struggling to add a custom logo to the navbar title in R Markdown? It can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to solve this issue together. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when your logo doesn't fit properly in the navbar. You might have tried adding HTML code, but the margins and overlapping text can make it feel impossible. You're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how do I add a custom logo in the navbar title field in our markdown? They mentioned that while they managed to add the logo, it didn't fit well and the menu text overlapped. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. So, what could be causing this issue? Often, it comes down to CSS styling and how the navbar is structured. We'll break it down step by step to ensure your logo fits perfectly. And stick around. At the end of this video, I have a bonus tip that will help you customize your navbar even further. To add a custom logo in the navbar title field of an R Markdown document, the user should first ensure that the logo image is accessible. This means placing the image file in the same directory as the R Markdown file. Next, the user needs to modify the YAML header of their R Markdown document. They should replace the title text with an HTML image tag that points to their logo file. After updating the YAML header, the user should adjust the CSS styles to ensure the logo fits well within the navbar. This can help prevent overlapping with menu text. Finally, the user should knit the R Markdown document to see the changes. This will render the navbar with the custom logo properly displayed. Fun fact, the first website ever created is still online. It was launched in 1991 and is a simple page about the World Wide Web. Just like your navbar, it started small but has grown tremendously. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution shared by another user involves directly embedding an image in the navbar title. They suggest using HTML to insert the logo, specifying its width to ensure it fits properly. This method allows for a custom logo to be displayed alongside the navbar text without overlap, enhancing the visual appeal of your R Markdown site. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution suggests modifying the YAML header for your R Markdown document. If you're using Flex Dashboard, you can specify the logo directly in the output section. Just include the logo file name in the YAML header. It's important to note that the logo image will not be scaled automatically, so make sure it fits the navigation bar's height, which is typically 48 pixels for the default theme. Here's that bonus tip I promised. Consider using a responsive design for your navbar. This way, your logo and menu will adjust seamlessly across different devices. And there you have it. Your custom logo should now fit perfectly in the navbar. Remember, a little CSS can go a long way. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and let us know how your navbar customization goes.